Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Math TV. Today, we'd like to share how to solve the following system of equations by using the substitution method. Since the coefficient of x of the first equation is equal to 1, so I'm going to express x in terms of y and z. So this can be written as x is equal to plus move forward to the right becomes minus, and we have 2y minus move forward plus 2z. And this is equation 1. This is equation 2 and this is equation 3. Now let's substitute equation into equation 2. So which means that we should have 2x where x is equal to minus 3y plus 2z. And we have minus y plus 4z equal to 0. Let's expand. We have 2 times minus 3y which is minus 6y. 2 times plus 2z so plus 4z minus y plus 4z is equal to 0. So we have minus 6 minus 1, which is minus 7, and this belongs to y. Plus 4 plus 4, which is plus 8, and this is belongs to z, and this is equal to 0, which means that 7y is equal to 8z. In other words, y is equal to 8 over 7z, and this is the equation number 4. Now let's substitute equation 4 into equation 1. So we have x is equal to minus 3, y is equal to 8 over 7z, and we plus 2z, which means that x is equal to minus 3 times 8, which is minus 24, and we have over 7z plus 2z. To calculate this, we can first standardize the denominator. Since the denominator of the first term is 7, so I'm going to times 7 over 7. So which means that we have minus 24 plus 2 times 7, which is 14, divided by 7 times z. And this is equal to minus 24 plus 14 is equal to minus 10. And we have divided by 7 times z. So which means that x is equal to minus 10 divided by 7 times z. And this is the equation number 5. Lastly, let's substitute equation 4 and equation 5 into equation number 3. We have x, which is minus 10 divided by 7 z minus 11 y. y is equal to 8 over 7 z and we plus 14 z is equal to 0. Again, let's standardize to calculate this. So we have 7, 7. So I'm going to times 7 over 7 to the third term. So which means that we should have minus 10 minus 11 times 8, which is 88. And we plus 14 times 7, which is equal to 98, divided by 7, that is equal to 0. Let's compute the value. We have minus 10 minus 88, which is minus 98. Minus 98 plus 98 offset each other, no more. So which means that we have 0 divided by 7, which is 0. 0 times anything, we get back 0. And this implies that we have 0 equal to 0. If this is the case, which means that we should have infinite number of solutions. And therefore, we can let that be any real number, let's say that is equal to t. And recall the equation 4 and equation 5, so which means that x is equal to negative 10 over 7, that can be t, so t, and y is equal to 8 over 7, t, and hence we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.